to begin this treatment for Osgood's Latters. The therapist is first going to uh, remove another 15mm heads from this Shockmaster 300 from Gymna and apply a 15mm convex head. You can tell this is a convex head as it's silver and not copper in colour. Bring the settings up. So in this case we're going to come up to 2 bar and 12 hertz for 2000 shocks. You can see the Osgood slatters on the knee here, it's quite prominent, a large area of bony formation. You have to emphasise that this is a mature knee, this is not a knee with open growth plates. Apply some gel to the area to be treated. And then bring the shockwave onto the Osgood slatters. It's a bony overgrowth the end of the patella tendon usually comes from overuse in teenage years whilst you're still growing a shockwave has been shown to encourage bone growth there is debate about whether or not you can use shockwave therapy onto Osgood slatters on teenagers or people who are not skeletally mature in their knees the debate rages simply because some studies have shown that shockwave encourages bone growth and so makes fractures heal up quicker which would in essence make the Osgood slatters worse and larger uh, whilst other studies have shown that shockwave actually gets rid of bone and makes bone smaller uh, which is what we're using it for here today and so should in, in fact make the Osgood slatters better of course this is complicated further in children as if shockwave does encourage bone growth then of course you would end up with the growth plates potentially closing earlier than they should do and if it doesn't and destroys bone growth you could potentially make the growth plate wider not narrower and so we have never actually used shockwave on someone who is skeletally immature if there's any doubt the best way to find that out is to obviously x-ray the knee although of course there are the radiological concerns with x-raying a knee just to find out if the growth plates are open or not those radiological concerns are definitely for a different website other than our own as you can see here the therapist is moving the shockwave around the Osgood slatters which are much more painful than others. You can see that by the patient's reaction. I'll just keep moving around. The actual area of bone growth is far too big really to do in spots. Hence why this treatment isn't a spotted treatment. If the area was smaller, like the bone spurs you get in the Achilles, the end of the Achilles or into the plantar fascia you can just treat those as a single spot and you'll see that in some of our other videos um, in this case the area is too big to treat as a single spot you could divide the area into smaller spots and do each one for a certain number of shocks you've chosen not to do that in this case